This is Musicians for Freedom on UWS Community Radio and the International Community Radio Network. Every Sunday at 3 p.m. MDT and 10 p.m. UK time for guests and political music live from the Colorado studio. He looked at me and then, with tears in his eyes, would have told me it took me by surprise. He said, I don't know what I will do when you're not mine anymore. I have seen other guys with you, and I know what you're ready for. used to play in the creek by the school Way back in the woods where the air was moist and cool The sky was blue patches, a canopy of green The hottest summer days I'll ever seem just like a dream What I'd give to feel her again Like I never had no need to understand Just wandering through those days as friends And coming home with sneakers full of Sand. 
Yeah, he said, I don't know what I will do when you're not mine anymore. I have seen other guys with you, and I know what you're headed Going far away, it seems like nothing's free no more, and nothing seems to stay. Well, I had a lover, but just the other day when I found a phone number on his table, I said to him, I don't know what I will do when you're not mine anymore. Because I've seen other girls with you, and I know what you're hating. To him, I said, I don't know what I will do when you're not mine anymore. Because I've seen other girls with you, and I know what you're headed for. I know, no, no, what you're headed for. Everybody and welcome. Today is Sunday, October 9th, 2011, and we are here with Musicians for Freedom. This is our segment weekly where we add music to the list of the information that we give you so that we can lighten it up a bit. As our friend uh, Vinnie Eastwood says, the lighter side of genocide. He was with us yesterday. I hope you folks caught the marathon. If you did not, we will get the archives up during the week and post them for you. It was an excellent show. Um, lots of information on vaccines. We learned about the Magna Carta. We learned about how to know our rights. And now today we are moving forward with uh, Charlene Holt. will be joining us from musiciansforfreedom.com. Charlene, you there? I'm here. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Why don't you introduce us now to your friends who are also here? Well, they're my friends as well, but uh, this is the Musicians for Freedom part of the show, so take it away, Charlene. Great. Well, thanks, Karen. Um, well, uh, today we're hoping to have Zach Carter. Uh, he's our featured musician at my website, musiciansforfreedom.com. And um, Zach is heading up uh, the Rock the Revolution Tour, which has been inspired by the, the Ron Paul Love Illusion and uh, Zach is a musician and a former soldier and an activist. And um, he's been very well connected recently in recent months and has lined up a lot of musicians. And they're going to be performing in towns all over the United States. And so we're real excited. And I'm hoping to hook him up with uh, some folks in uh, other parts of the planet, too. We know Detlev in Switzerland. And we know Alan Karna over there in the U.K. And Rick, of course, in the U.K. And... Um, uh, Vinnie Eastwood is down in New Zealand, and so I don't really see any reason why Zach Carter can't head up the Rock the Planet revolution. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> we want we want to get it shaken, you know what I'm saying? The whole thing is going to be, we're going to feel the earth move, like, uh, what was that musician lady? I feel the earth move Carol King. under my feet. <laughs> I feel the sky tumbling down. <laughs> yep, so we'll be rocking the planet, and it's going to be shaking, and it's going to be our earthquake. And it's not going to be caused by HARP or the New World Order or the, the elite, you know. And pretty soon, you know, we're going to have Henry Kissinger. He's going to be moving his feet to the music of Musicians for Freedom, right? <laughs> oh, man, it's too early for that visual. <laughs> I think he'll be moving his wheelchair. All oh, right, Smokey, you're right about that. So that is so, uh, Smokey today, from Voodoo oh, Stingray. Are we an echo? We are. Yeah, isn't, isn't that funny? 
So why don't we have a quick break here with some music and we'll try to reconnect because, you know, we are enough. We don't need an echo because our words are so strong, you know. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> One time to <laughs> Absolutely. So stay tuned. Join we'll be Musicians right. for Freedom on icradionetwork.com every Sunday at 3 p.m. MDT and 10 p.m. UK time for guests and political music live from the Colorado studio.
We're back now with Musicians for Freedom. This is Sunday, October 9th, and this is the tail end of the marathon that we had all day yesterday. Again, check back with United We Strike. We will get the archives up just as quickly as possible. If you are a guest, we'll get those links to you as well, and we appreciate your support. Here with occupations beginning to take place all across the country, the spirit is rising in Americans, and that is so gratifying to see. Because if ever there was a time to bust a move, it is now for our future, <laughs> for our planet, for ourselves. So today we have um, uh, some guests with us. We have the lovely Charlene Holt of Musicians for Freedom. And she has some other guests as well. And I'm going to let her take it now and introduce you to the rest of the folks we've got on the program today. So stay tuned. Hi, Karen. Thanks for that beautiful introduction. I sure love you. <laughs> You too. Yeah, and um, today we've got Bert, our buddy Bert. I love Bert. Bert's awesome. He's in Colorado, and he is he is at the he's making a bow wave. You know, he he's the guy that's like out there in the front, and you know he's got this huge bow wave of energy that we're all just going to sort of ride his tails as he, you know, um, goes up against the new world order, and. Um, He's got some special uh, thoughts for us today, and we're going to hear from Bird here in just a sec. And also on the phone, uh, we have Smokey, who's out in Nashville, and uh, he's a, a part of a duo. Uh, they're called You Voodoo have reached Stigma. the maximum time permitted to record. To send your message, press 1 at any time. You reached Zach Carter from the Rock the Revolution Tour. Sorry, I can't take your call right now. Yo, I will be back to you as soon as I can. It's everything better. So here we go. We were we sort of had a had a funny break here. Yeah. You got to hang up on Zach there. Well. I don't know why, uh, you know, this is uh, really funny. Anyways, are, are we, online? Mama, we are online, so we are basically on air. <laughs> hey, Bert, what's going on? Are you still there? I'm here. Hey, why don't you tell us what you've got going on lately here in Colorado? Well, I mean, I still have my... Uh, my case with, uh, uh, basically against the, uh, well, against or with, depends on how you look at it, the, uh, Denver PD, and then eventually I'll be, uh, filing a case against TSA. But my latest, uh, action so far is that I've, um, entered a motion for a motion of hearing so they can, uh, hear my, uh, my motion that I have filed and, um, which basically have acquiesced to because one thing that everybody needs to understand that the same way that uh, the court or whatever you want to call them, the policeman or whoever, they always give you some kind of summons, some kind of notice with some kind of a, a date time on it, uh, you can also do the same thing. They usually give you like 20 days to respond. If you don't respond, that means that you acquiesce to their charges or their accusations, and you can basically do the same thing with them. Always put a time limit on anything that you issue them. So at the very beginning of this whole case, I, I gave them uh, uh, certain notices, and uh, because they never read the paperwork that you turn in, they apparently overlook the time limits on them, and they uh, so far have acquiesced. So now I have a, an appointment uh, that I requested with the court to uh, hear my motions, and it's going to be very interesting what happens there because this next meeting, I'm going to take the full stand as a, as a free man and see what happens. Well, that'll be Can good. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, we've got another echo. Yeah, I'm getting like a feedback. Yeah, that's very funny. Um, I don't know why this is uh, since uh, Skype made an update, you know, uh, since then it doesn't really work. So why don't we have another uh, break? And if, if you don't mind... Uh, Billy Blaze, we will uh, play a song of yours, open your eyes, and I'll try to reconnect. Please stay tuned. Okay. Okay. We are by back. Join Musicians for Freedom on icradionetwork.com every Sunday at 3 p.m. MDT and 10 p.m. UK time. 
for guests and political music, live from the Colorado studio. Open your eyes Is everything better with United We Strike and Musicians for Freedom, and it would not be United We Strike if we weren't dealing with some OSMs, which is the adult version of Oh Crap Moments. 
that always seem to happen when you're on air, just about ready to go live. So we are um, going to be moving on now then with the program. You've just heard a really beautiful melody from Billy Blaze, who is guesting with us today. Welcome, Billy, to the program. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be on. It's a pleasure to meet you. Now, you and Charlene already are familiar with each other. Yes, just recently. Okay, Charlene, why don't you tell us how you knew about Billy Blaze? Well, um, actually, um, just real quick, let me, let me, um, shout out Bert's email address to get a hold of Bert. He's at do not consent 83 at yahoo.com. And, um, yeah, with regard to, uh, Billy, I, I just got a, a, te- um, a comment from Billy on the bottom of a, uh, a page at my website, musiciansforfreedom.com. And up until that point, I don't think that I was aware, but you know, that doesn't mean much because there just are so many talented musicians in the freedom movement. Um, and apparently Billy is a friend of, uh, Zach Carter who's heading up the Rock the Revolution tour. So I'm over here at um, my October 2011 featured activist Zach Carter page on my website, and there are a bunch of uh, musicians that are going to be on tour that Zach's putting together. And so, Billy, you're one of the musicians on tour with Zach, aren't you? Yes, I am. Great. Where do you live? I am about 30 miles west of Fort Worth, Texas. Nice. When are when is is Zach going to actually be there in Fort Worth, Texas, uh, with you to on the tour, or how's that going to work for you down there? Well, they're uh, going to have a show in Austin, Texas, and then they're going to have a show in Dallas, Texas, at the House of Blues, and um, we're kind of working it out right now. And I'll probably pick up the tour uh, when they go to Austin, and then possibly go on for the rest of the tour through the United States. Nice. Well, when are they going to be coming through Austin? Uh, you know, I don't have the date written down. Um, it's on the website though. RockTheRevolutionTour.com dot com has all the um, has all the cities and the dates of when they're going to be in those towns listed on the site. Okay. Let's see. So we're going to the site location. It's in November. It's in November, but I can't remember the date. All right, Austin, Texas is going to be November 8th, and Dallas, Texas is going to be November 10th. Yeah, I remember Austin. Yeah, I used to live down in Dallas, and uh, Deep Ellum, right? That's where the Deep Ellum blues were were first originated, weren't they? Uh, Yeah, there's there's a a big surge of... um, live music uh, coming out of this area. And they also have started doing a lot of film out here, too, because they found that it's uh, we've got studios in Las Colinas, Texas, which is around Dallas. And it's um, the studios have found out it's quite a bit cheaper to uh, make films here in Texas <laughs> than in California. So uh, it's really kind of, you know, uh, it's been real beneficial for, for a lot of artists because there's a lot of attention in this area. So a lot of people are getting picked up from here. Now, Billy, what woke you up to the political scene and to what's going on? Well, I've kind of, uh, you know, as a kid, you know, you, uh, some kids, uh, you know, realize that uh, they don't really know what's wrong, but they, they just feel like something's, you know, askew, out of place. And I've kind of been that way all my life. And uh, um, I actually, you know, have have been you know, uh, just not real happy with the way things are going in this country. And I really didn't feel like that there was a, a chance for anything to change until I heard of Ron Paul. And um, so I started getting involved with that. I became a delegate for Ron Paul and um, uh, got out in the freezing cold campaigning. And, um, you know, I loved it because I felt like I was actually doing something that was going to help my country. And, um you know, it's it's for the first time in my life, uh, and I'm 44 years old this month. Um, uh, this, there's been somebody that I have faith in, you know, and I can look at their track record. Uh, so yeah, that's that's really kind of what got me into it. Is uh, I saw a candidate that was actually worth my vote. And um, how long so ago? I, I, uh, that was in 2007. 
late 2006, okay. early 2007. Uh-huh. Oh, you have a fan here, Crenator says hi. That's who Ken Oh, yeah, yeah. Ken is. There you go. He's listening to you today. Yeah, great guy. He is. He's helped us out at United We Strike quite a bit here, and we're grateful to him. Awesome. So when did you start writing political music? Well, around about the same time. Um, you know, it's, it's funny because I actually started writing it before uh, I knew of Ron Paul. And um, so I just started kind of writing there. And, you know, at the time I was writing the music, I was like, wow, people are really not going to like me for this. <laughs> but, you know, I didn't really <laughs> I didn't really care. So uh, and I was really kind of shocked that uh, that it's it's done so well. And I have a name in the freedom movement because of it. Um, but I'm really pleased with that. And it also inspires me to write more. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Wow, that's well, really awesome. You know, I haven't written that many uh political songs. I'm I'm getting ready to do that. <laughs> you know, I made an album back in about 2000, you know, when I was deep in the matrix still. So, um Yeah. You know. And since I woke up, I started doing this activism thing, you know, and you know, there's just so many different threads that come into Musicians for Freedom, you know, because I do um, featured artists and featured musicians and featured filmmakers and featured activists every month. You know, plus keeping up with just the news in general. And now I've got this whole sovereignty thing with Bert, you know, that we're all doing here in Colorado. You know, so we're, I really like the fact that we're bringing it, um, back home, you know, to our own selves. We're occupying ourselves. You know, so instead of the solution being out there, you know, which I have nothing wrong at all with uh, people supporting Ron Paul and, you know, and voting for Ron Paul and, um, you know, the Occupy movements, you know, th- it, it all works together, you know, and that's what United We Strike is all about. Uh, and that's Karen's vision, too, is that we all work together. You know, we're all just running alongside the beast with our spears and we're going to take down the New World Order and everybody's got their own approach to how to do this, you know. So it, it's been a real busy time for me, but I'm looking forward to writing some political songs. <laughs> it's addicting. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had had the discipline to learn how to really sit there and and learn to play the guitar or something. Billy, I'm a I'm a vocalist. I've been in different bands on and off all my life, but always just as the singer. I write lyrics, but I always wanted to sing so badly that I never could uh, I never could stand to try and accompany myself because there was no way. So I just put down the guitar and sing. Well, you know, um, if somebody asked me 20 years ago if I would be playing, singing, writing my own music, I would have laughed in their face. <laughs> you have to start somewhere, and uh, and then you go through these little building blocks, you know. Like I, I, I told myself, well, I'll never be able to chord fast enough to play a complete song, and I got past that, and then I was like, well, I'll never be able to sing and play, and I got past that, and then I was like, oh, I'll never be able to write my own music. And, you know, it's just a, you, you got to break through these barriers, but if you keep at it, all it is really is memorization. So uh, once you get your fingers used to doing what you what what you want them to do, it's it's kind of like riding a bike. You don't even think about it. That's what I've heard. So I don't know if I'll ever get there, but I keep plugging away with the music. And this is nice because this program brings it back to me. And sometimes as well, we've got uh, Charlene will connect her her speakers and her system, and we'll play live. And that's also really a treat. So we're we're grateful. To uh, to have this venue. Now you've got a tune called "Think." Would you like to tell us about that? And then we'll play that um, so the audience can hear you. And yeah, Zach that's uh, yeah. That song is uh, it. It was actually kind of personal to me, um, and that's why there's a couple of lyrics in there that uh, are personal to me. And I've had uh, there's one in there about being able to smoke cigarettes, uh, you know, where you want to and things. And a lot of people have commented on that and they said well you know um you know the whole um uh, it's not right to smoke secondhand smoke kind of issue and i and I, the point i was making is it's my own personal freedom and uh and I, that's the, what i wanted to inspire and everybody else is like you know you have your own personal freedom this song is kind of about me but the hardest thing to do is to write a song that's vague enough to everyone but something that's personal enough to you where you can sing it with passion and write it with passion. And uh but yeah, the song is is just basically about kind of being fed up with everything and um and just my expression of, of what I was feeling at the time. Well cool. Detlef, can we you got that going for us? 
Join Musicians yep. for Freedom on icradionetwork.com every Sunday at 3 p.m. MDT and 10 p.m. UK time for guests and political music live from the Colorado studio. <laughs> Another day, I want another way. I want to feel like it's Saturday morning and there ain't no school today. I want to have it back, all that I have lost. And I would use a gun and live on the run if that were the cost. Cause this ain't right. This ain't good I don't need someone to tell me What I can't do and what I should I want to opt out Of the life I'm in And if I had to tell you what went wrong I wouldn't know where to begin Wanna be free? Wouldn't that be neat? I wanna drive my car without a seatbelt and have a smoke after I eat. I wanna see men stand up and say, We've had enough and we're taking back our country here today. Is this ain't right? This ain't good I don't need someone to tell me What I can't do and what I should I want to opt out Of the life I'm in And if I had to tell you what went wrong I wouldn't know where to begin We just finished hearing a Billy Blaze tune, and it's a beautiful melody, as all of his music is. Billy, thank you. We're glad you're here today. Thank you. And now, it seems we have the elusive Zach Carter, who has been busy. We had technical issues. Um, Zach is an Army veteran of Kosovo and Iraq. He supported the Ron Paul campaign. Um he was kicked out of the service for making a video. We've got that video uh, on the schedule. If you folks want it, you can contact me or else. Zach, actually, why don't you tell folks a little bit about who you are, how you got this rolling, and then we'll get some more music here from Billy Blaze. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on. Um, 
you know, I, I uh, like you said, I, I'm an Army veteran and uh, chose to support Ron Paul in 2007 by making uh, that video that got me kicked out of the service. And um, I, I would do it all over again. I, I have more pride in in, uh, in in making that video and, and saying the things I said in it um, than anything else I did in uniform. And um, I, I hope to make a much bigger contribution to the Ron Paul campaign this time around with uh, this Rock the Revolution tour. It's uh, completely grassroots, separate from any official function with the campaign. And uh, it, it's going to be pretty exciting. We've got uh, amazing artists like Billy, who I hope to, uh, you know, get, get his name and his music out there to more people. And then we've also had some, you know, some, uh, some people who've already had some commercial success. And, and I think that, that, that is going to help, uh, you know, all of us all the way around, uh, help Billy's name get out there more and the other Liberty artists that we have, uh, that are being, that are a part of this. And, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be exciting. It already is exciting. <laughs> As you're traveling too, you have to see if you can connect with, uh, Paul Topetti and Poker Face. They're, yeah, they're out yeah, at the, the other be, side of the country. Yeah, Paul will be playing, um, when we, uh, get over to the East Coast. Definitely. Now, how did you meet Billy? I posted on the Daily Pause kind of the, when I had, you know, I, I can't take credit for this idea of, you know, having a, a nationwide, uh, you know, concert tour in support of Ron Paul. You know, there's that great quote from Ron Paul himself that, uh, you know, he said, um, I always knew that if you were going to have a revolution, you needed two things, young people and music. And so that combined with hearing other people talk about it, um, it just needed somebody like me who has the ability to work for free for you know, 16 hours a day, seven days a week for half a year. Um, and the connections that I've made over, you know, since I got kicked out of the service, um, you know, working on congressional campaigns and a Senate campaign. And, um, it, it, so I, I put the, the, that I was going to, um, you know, move this from idea to reality on dailypaul.com. And, um, it's, uh, it got a lot of, uh, I got a lot of feedback, a lot of very positive feedback, very fast, and um, and that's how uh, I got in touch with Billy there. Cool, Charlene. How did you meet Zach? Oh, how did I meet Zach? Um, I just happened to hear. Um, oh, I remember. I I was googling um, something about a U.S. citizen. And, uh, the checkpoints, when they ask, um, you know, at these internal checkpoints, they'll say, are you a U.S. citizen? You know. So I was Googling that, and I came up with a, uh, a YouTube video of my buddy Ernest Hancock down at Freedoms Phoenix. And Ernie was, uh, exploring that idea, and he was getting ready to pull up to a checkpoint down there in Arizona. And when the guy said, are you a U.S. US citizen, Ernie said something like, well, you know, I was born in the great state of blah, 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 you know, in a hospital there. Does that qualify? And I guess the, the officer at the checkpoint said, uh, just waved him on. Sure, go ahead, you know. <laughs> and so Ernie had a dash cam. It's a pretty interesting little video. He's got a dash cam, I guess, where he's talking into his video recorder. And, uh, so he was playing with that idea. That was from like March of 2010. And so, and then of course, once I had found that video from, from Ernie, he, um, I mean, he's the editor, by the way, of freedomsphoenix.com. So then once I found that video from Ernie, of course, all of Ernie's other videos came up. And that's when I realized that he had just uploaded a, an interview with, uh, with Zach, with Zach Carter. Um, on his Declare Your Independence show. So you can always catch Ernie's uh, show. It's called Declare Your Independence with Ernest Hancock, and you can find more information at freedomsphoenix.com. And that's the first time I heard of Zach Carter. Did you know that, Zach? <laughs> I, I didn't know that, but I'm not surprised. I've, <laughs> I've, uh, I've been doing a lot of interviews, uh, but I've, I'm more used to um, lining up interviews for uh, other people. Um, 
So it, it, it's exciting for me to be able to call people that I've you know worked with in the past as far as lining up interviews like Ernie and um, you know judging the Palatano stuff and uh, Mark Edge at Free Talk Live and you know be able to tell them okay it's my turn. <laughs> Exactly. It's really, it's a very broad freedom community, isn't it? It is. It is. And, uh, yeah, yeah, Ernie's amazing. Ernest Hancock is, uh, you know, def- definitely in my, uh, you know, hero book there. Yeah, he's, he, did you know, folks, I gotta tell you, Karen and Detlef, you probably didn't know this, but the Ron Paul, the, the revolution, that logo, Ernie was the one that came up with the backwards love in that oh, no. logo. Wow. Wow, that's amazing, Charlene. Amazing information. It really is. And and so Ernie's been doing this a long time. And, you know, back when I knew him, I was at Freedoms Phoenix at the workshop down there, uh, not this winter, but the previous winter and spent some time down there. And, um, you know, Ernie is very active with the Libertarian Party also, but he's very, um, his mind is really open. He, he understands how the game works, you know, and so, you know, he'll, he'll say like, are you still voting? Still voting? <laughs> so he really gets it, you know, but he's a big supporter of, of all these efforts. You know, Ron Paul, the biggest thing I like about Ron Paul, and I really love Ron Paul because he's, he's never voted for anything that was unconstitutional. Not once. He's got a spotless voting record as, as a, um, a representative from Texas. And, uh, you know, but Ron Paul brings, um, the ideas of liberty and freedom to the, to, you know, the general public, I feel. Now, I would have a, a question to Zach. Uh, this is Detlef here from Switzerland, from Wake News Radio. Um, now, how many uh, musicians do you have lined up for your show? I mean, this, uh, you're, you're doing this tour uh, in the whole United States? Yeah, right now we have um, just over 30 um, artists and bands all together, and it's still growing. Um, we're still looking for more people who are willing to come out and uh, support Ron Paul this way. Um, most of the people that are taking part are only doing one or two uh, shows. Some of them are doing uh, a few more than that, and we have a small core that's uh, doing the whole country. And uh, but uh, yeah, we, we're we're still uh, looking to add more talent, and and uh, that's that's happening every day. I, every day, just about um. I've, I'm approached by somebody who wants to uh, perform on stage and come out and, and support Ron Paul that way. Well, that's great. Ron. And uh, yeah. if I may, uh, um, what kind of style of music uh, are you uh, picking? I mean, it's just doesn't, it doesn't matter. I mean, like rock or reggae yeah. or, or whatever. Rap. Well, well uh, you know, freedom brings us all together. And, you know, it, it, we're really sh- able to showcase that with this uh now, with this tour, um, every show has an amazingly diverse lineup already. Everything from folk music to you know, country and hip hop and punk rock and classic rock and, and even had a lady call me from, uh, the Fort Lauderdale Symphony telling me that, uh, she would, uh, she wants to try to convert <laughs> her, her symphony, but she doesn't know if she can. But <laughs> that wow. would be pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah. So, no, freedom does bring us all together, and, and we're really able to showcase that with, uh, you know, all the different styles of, of music that are being presented, uh, all these amazing artists from every genre imaginable. Yeah, that's amazing. And, and I also, uh, you know, gather lots of uh, musicians over here who are also donating their electronic music. You know, and they're putting in something like, uh, you know, don't buy, don't comply, Ask why, you know, things like that, or Wake News Radio, or United We Strike. You know, that's that's amazing. You know, that's a, it's incredible. It really is. I'm I'm real impressed with the whole United We Strike idea. I mean, I I just see the people in the outer ring, you know, and we're just we're pushing, you know, the New World Order into a smaller and smaller, you know, little center, and eventually it's going to just drop down the. Uh, the sinkhole, you know, at the bottom of the bathtub. The lizard's in the bathtub, right? <laughs> we're gonna we'll flush them. Yeah, we're flushing them, right? <laughs> but we're surrounding them. We do surround them. Yeah. Well, I think to United We Strike to me is is a feeling. It's a it's a a growing awareness of our own individual empowerment and 
it also feels to me like we're forming a tribe of people who know that regardless of what everybody else is doing out there, we have a center, we have a focus, we see the truth through the maze, we know it's a lot simpler than we've been led to believe, and that the people ultimately do have the power once we recognize our numbers and our strength and the fact that our lives can be much more simple than we've been led to believe. Now, Billy, because I'm not sure yet how long you have, you've got another song here, Tears of the Young. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Tears of the Young so that we can get some more of your music in here and and some more of your thoughts? Well, most of my music has been acoustic, uh, just me and a guitar. Uh, That's going to be changing um, with my next CD. I'm going to have a little mixture of both. It's going to be full band back and um, and just me and the guitar. But this particular song is is all about um, uh, you know, bad legislation for one, um, and that's what where the lyric in there comes across the hill. Uh, but then uh, it's about um, you know these soldiers that are going over there and uh, the price that we pay as a country. Um, with losing these good folks over a, a phony war. And um, so it's about that, and it's about the revolution uh, itself gaining popularity and getting stronger in this country and all around the globe. It is doing that. Detlef, would you play that for us, please? Oh, yes, sure. So just uh, stay on. Uh, we'll be right back and uh, listen to this. Great tune. This is Musicians for Freedom on UWS Community Radio and the International Community Radio Network.
That was Tears of the Young by Billy Blaze. And Billy, thank you very much because you just let us know that that was a debut. A premiere, actually. You know, that's wonderful. Thank you guys for playing it. That's amazing. May I ha use this over here in Europe as well on my Wake News Radio? Absolutely. Thank you very much, Billy. Awesome. And now we do want to introduce you. We've got Smokey back from VoodooStingray.com. So, Billy Blaze, meet Smokey, who's now in Nashville. Hello, Billy. Hi there. Very nice like, to meet you. I like the tune. Thank you. So you're going to well, be on tour and you're headed through Nashville. It'd be great to see you guys. I, I don't know if Billy's going to be able to, uh, uh Billy's, you, you're definitely invited to do as much of the tour as you, uh, as you, uh, you know, can possibly do. Um, but, uh, yeah, most, most of the artists on the tour are, are, uh, going to be doing their, their home regions. Um, how much can you do, Billy? Well, uh, you know, I just have to work that out. I've got some, some gigs on the books right now. <clears throat> I'm trying to yeah. get as much press locally as I possibly can to, uh, to help the tour and, and as, you know, also bring, um, the whole idea behind what we're doing all this for to light locally. And, uh, I'm getting pretty far with that too. Uh, I've got, um, um, uh, they're doing a story on me, um, Oh, Tuesday, and uh, I'm definitely going to plug the tour and as many as many folks as I can in this thing. But uh, you know, a lot of things are popping up like that uh, because of because of uh, you know the music. Yeah, yeah, and p part of my idea behind the the Rock the Revolution tour was you know to do something a, a little different, something that uh, you know um, is out of the ordinary to try to re remove the the need for the you know the corrupting influence of of big money in politics do something a little different and you can get media attention and uh yeah so far i i've been extremely successful also with the uh, mainstream media interviews that i've been doing here for the kickoff and i hope to you know copy that and and uh you know keep that going throughout the whole country and uh, that's awesome billy Thank you for helping. Yeah, it's a great idea. That's why you know it's it's you know a lot of people in media are are latching on to this that I've uh, have reached out to and, and see if they want to do a story. Uh, it's a great idea, and that's why everybody's wanting to get in on it, you know, and, and put it out there, which is good for everybody. Yeah. It is, and you know, if we can help you too, we have on Sundays we've got this two-hour spot. What do you think, Charlene? If we can connect a little more closely with you and give you a, a venue to introduce some of the artists as you go through different towns, that would be awesome. I'd love to give you guys updates as we go along, and uh, that that sounds wonderful. And uh, yeah, everybody can also uh, follow us on uh, RockTheRevolutionTour.com, and uh, we hope to be able to do live streaming. Um, when we're having the shows, and it looks like that's going to be happening. And, uh, yeah, love to come on again. Well, we'll have oh, to make that, that happen. Like, yeah. Go ahead, yeah. Yeah, when I approach, you know, politics, I, I bring with it my, my personal experiences from the past. And before I joined the service, I did something that was extremely frivolous, um, But it, you know, it was different and I, I got a lot of media attention and from coast to coast. So, you know, I, I, I bring that with me when I, when I approach politics. I, I tried to get John Dennis to get arrested at an anti-war protest with me, but, um, he, he, he's fine. <laughs> but I'm always looking for, you know, some, what can we do that's different that'll, it'll stand out and get us noticed. And, uh, well, really do you, do you know Adam, Zach? So cash. Yeah. Um, I've talked to him in before. Um, you know, when, when I wanted to get more active back in 2007, 2008, um, you know, I was, I was under, you know, a, a federal investigation and, um, my, my wife was really not happy with, uh, you know, the possibility of, of federal prison. And so I wasn't as active then as I wanted to be. Um, but yeah, I, I've, I've talked to Adam in the past when he was running for uh, Congress out there in New Mexico, and uh, yeah, definitely uh, you know, would like him to 
speak at some of these events. We've got some great speakers uh, lined up also. Um, at, at the kickoff, we've got a former NFL player, uh, Clint Didier, who ran for Senate out here in Washington State last year. Um, Robin Kerner from the Huffington Post. He's been writing uh, some great Liberty uh, articles. And we've um, got uh, Doug Cloud. He's a on-fire guy for Liberty. And uh, so I'm excited about that, too. And uh, we've got some great stuff to give out to the crowds. Uh, Dunlop has given us, uh, um, well, they're, they're Ron Paul guitar pick. And uh, they say, uh, well, it's got Ron Paul's face on one side, and it says peace underneath it. And on the other side, uh, our, our original artwork for the tour is uh, an, an eagle uh, carrying a boombox in its, in its talons, and it, and it says rock. <laughs> Hey, where right, do we that, find that? You know, I was looking for uh, some graphics, you know, images yeah. uh, to put on my website. Where is that at? Um, well, actually, gonna... you guys, you might want to hold that for just a second. We are going to have to take a break here at the top of the hour, but let's come back in on that question. And right now, Detlef, if you would, I think you got some Voodoo Stingray, which is Smokey's band at VoodooStingray.com. And we'll be right back for the second hour of Musicians with Freedom with Billy Blaze, Zach Carter, Smokey, Charlene, and also, I believe, J.D. Nero will be joining us this next hour. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks a lot, Karen. And uh, we will have the Bonnie by Voodoo Stingray. So just stay tuned. We'll be right back. This is Musicians for Freedom on UWS Community Radio and the International Community Radio Network.
trucks all around the house When it's time to check on mom and the kid You can find her butt naked over in the corner some Voodoo Stingray that we were just listening to, and we've got Smokey in Nashville. Smokey, have you rejoined us? Yes, I have. My phone keeps acting up for some reason. Ah, well, you know, we get all those OSMs here when we're trying to do the program. But what I really enjoyed, too, was having you meet Zach and Billy, and uh, possibly, who knows, the wonderful Voodoo Stingray may be part of the tour with the Rock the Revolution. That would be good. That would be awesome, yeah. Now, um, Billy, you are a local musician in, in Texas. Yes. Is that how you? Very well, cool. I, uh, yeah, I play all over. Um, last year, I played uh, the nation's largest tea party in Greenville, South Carolina. There was about 10,000 people there. And uh, this year, I got asked to come back and play um, the, a tea party for the presidential debates. Um, so there was oh, senators, congressmen there, and uh, five presidential candidates were there. And uh, I got to meet Ron Paul, and he signed my guitar, oh, uh, which right. was really cool. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that's that's fantastic for me because every time I take the stage, you know, it gives me an opportunity to talk about Ron Paul. <laughs> Absolutely, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, so uh, and I played with uh, a couple of guys down there, one of them being Jordan Page. And um, so, yeah, we had a great time down there. And uh, and they asked me to come back and play a march on uh, on Washington, um, uh, Washington, D.C. at the Capitol. Now they've changed, they've moved the date back on that, but I'll probably go to that as well. Cool. Jordan will be joining us next uh, Sunday, Jordan Page. What other politicians did you meet directly besides Ron Paul? Well, uh, I didn't actually directly meet any of them. Uh, there were um, several speakers, but, you know, it was, uh, when you have something going on like that, it's just chaotic. Uh, there's a lot of people there. Uh, now, um, uh, Golly, I can't remember. Uh, there was uh, quite a bit of vendors as, as well there. Um, uh, for And uh, Oath Keepers, actually, is, are the people who funded me to come down there, OathKeepers.org, and those were really, Ooh. really nice folks. Stuart Burroughs. Yes, yes, very nice guy, very nice fellow. But there was uh, like, uh, quite a bit of support for um, 
for this event. So there was there was quite a few people there. Fox News was there. Um, um, there was a bunch of uh, uh, big news carriers there. So it was, it was publicized quite a bit. It was a real nice event. And I met a guy with uh, the Associated Press that's running a story on um, – Freedom music. Uh, so he's writing it on me and Jordan Page and another fellow that was there. Awesome. Awesome. Well, you'll have to come back and, and hopefully this will be the first of many of the visits here, Billy, because we're all about peaceful noncompliance and unity, not into extremism and murder and death and destruction, just empowering ourselves and taking our world back. Sounds great to me. All right. Now, Charlene, you have uh, you have a little political adventure of your own that you want to share with us. A political adventure. Yeah, that that's the, <laughs> about the right way to put it. You know, because politics, you know, it's an interesting thing because we have a false left right paradigm as everyone is aware. You know, you've got the uh, Republicans and the Democrats, you know, and really it's just they all work for the same new world order system, you know. So Part of United We Strike and our approach, you know, is to take the power back as people, you know, and so so politics has a third rail, if you will, <laughs> the third rail of politics that they don't really want to talk about out there in the lamestream media, you know, and so one of the things that I learned from Bert, you know, my buddy Bert, is to uh, create a fee schedule, and this is really on the cutting edge of, of We the People, you know, because, you know, a driver's license, okay, and a, a registration, a plate, you know, on your car, well, those things aren't really necessary for we the people. So if you're a people who is a free free man on the land, you know, you don't really have to have a, a driver's license and you don't have to register your car. Those are all um, requirements if you are a U.S. citizen because really all the states and the municipalities are all just franchises of this federal corporation, so uh, so I made my own fee schedule, and I filed it recently with uh, the county. And um, I just got it back in the mail, and, and it's got like a nice little barcode sticker on there. So now I'm, you know, I'm just kind of getting brave, you know. It's really a process that ultimately you would not actually have a driver's license or a plate, you know what I'm saying, on your car. And when the police officer pulls you over, you would show them your fee schedule and explain that I'm a people and I'm not on subject to your jurisdiction. And if you give me any problems, then I'll be seeing you in this county court that just filed my fee schedule. So, well, help us understand exactly what you mean by fee schedule, <laughs> who you sent it to, and what you got back. Well, um, there's actually a. Um, I have a couple of videos at my channel, um, my YouTube channel, and I think that's Charlene Music Lover. But you can find a link to it on musiciansforfreedom.com. At the top left, I've got the social networks, okay? So if you go to the YouTube channel, um, I have a few videos there. And uh, one of the videos is, uh, let's see, Colorado uh, Sovereign Files Fee Schedule with Denver. And then I have another one that says, How to Make and File a Fee Schedule for Protection Against Corporate Abuse. And... So, and then there's a link, okay, to the fee schedule, a sample that's uh, uploaded to Scribed, um, Scribed.com, where you can upload, you know, all kinds of stuff to Scribed. It's really wonderful. And um, so what you would do is you would just go ahead and personalize that to fit your own uh, name and, and where you live and that sort of thing. And, and it, essentially what it says is, I am uh, a people. I am uh, one of the people who ordained this United States of America. Because we the people are the boss, okay? And so what happens, we have found, is that when you agree to be a U.S. citizen, you really have just agreed to subject yourself to the jurisdiction of this federal corporation, which is a private run for profit, profit business. So, you know, we're getting back on the land. We're uh, citizens, so to speak, of our states, okay? Like you're a citizen of the state of Texas or Arizona, um, here in Colorado. So, but Bert and I like to refer to ourselves as people because that's the actual term that is used in the Declaration of Independence. And it's used all throughout all of the founding organic documents of America. We the people. So what we do is we call ourselves people. So we don't really call ourselves citizens because a citizen is a subject to some jurisdiction. So the way we see it is we are sovereign people. We are the people who own this country. All of us together own. And really, we own the planet, okay? The, pe the planet belongs to the people. 
It doesn't belong to the politicians, you know. So, um, uh oh, I gotta run. Chris is here. I gotta open the door. And that, 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 okay. That fits in with um, you know, something that I truly believe that uh, this, this has to be bigger than than a, a man, bigger than a than a politician, and that it's art and culture and, and music that that changes uh, you know, changes things. Uh, it can change the world, and uh, all right, we, we have to change the world. Um, so I'm really, really excited about uh, you know, what what uh, we're going to be able to do. Um, and uh, I, I just got a breaking news here: Avery Sharp, the famous jazz musician, wants to be a part of the tour. Uh, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, go back to that, you know, showcasing the the diversity of uh, of the music and, and, and the people. Um, it, it's it's, uh, you know, it's been been amazing to me the the diversity of, of the music that's been coming forward to be a part of this and it's pretty exciting. Um, and I'm also excited about the Occupy movement. Um, you now there's we had kept days clear of on the Rock the Revolution tour. Um, we thought we would be going to college campuses and handing out flyers and uh, you know talking to kids there and, and other places where there were crowds. Um, now we've got these Occupy events going on, and uh, some of them even have stages and PAs set up. And and what a great opportunity for us to go there and uh, everyone along the, the path of the tour and uh, give them a you know a good solid education and uh, why they should also be you know uh, protesting against the Federal Reserve and and uh, that's what end these wars and the war on drugs and and uh, and how. You know, Ron Paul can you know be the vehicle to get us uh, you know a lot of our our common shared goals. So I'm Good, gonna... Charlene. Yeah, I'm back. Are you and back? Chris is here. Okay. Hi, Chris. How are you guys? <laughs> it's Chris Farmer Hi. from We Are Change Colorado. Thank you, Zach. Charlene, you were just finishing up on your on your fees. Do you want to finish your point here? Sure. Yeah. Just like I I just heard the tail end of what Zach was saying while I got Chris a cup of coffee. Um, yeah, so, so, you know, it's really a massive, <laughs> it's a massive conspiracy that, that has been waged against the American people, you know, and everybody has a different take on it, a different perspective, you know, as to when did the fraud start, you know, and, you know, how do we deal with it and what do we do, you know, and so, so I kind of like Bert's approach and, and the way the fee schedule works, I just handed it to Chris, you know, to show him, is you would just sort of carry that with you. And anytime you're having some sort of abuse by the corporation in any way whatsoever, you just give them the schedule. And it explains that your time is worth money. Because if we the people have unalienable rights, well, then, um, I'm not giving my rights away for nothing. <laughs> so if somebody <laughs> violates my rights per incident or per hour, you know, the fee schedule specifies it's like, you know, an ounce of gold, you know, per violation. Um, and, you know, if you get detained, you know, and it's unlawful detainment. So so the way we see it is it, it balances the power, you know, because because I feel like. You know, the lamestream media, what they do is they propagandize everyone to think that voting is your only way to have any power, but it's not true. You know, and, and, and like I say, I mean, everybody's in a ver in various, um, phases of waking up, okay? But, um, essentially, you know, unless it's a local operation, you know, voting, I think, is, is not necessarily gonna help, you know. But I do like Ron Paul a lot, because Ron Paul, actually understands this whole situation you know he he really he's an insider you know he's kind of like cracking this thing wide open from the inside i think well when you said the just to get back to your paperwork and your fee schedule that you mailed this to them and i'm i'm not looking at it right now i'm but I'm trying to help people too who don't have a computer so when you mailed it it was okay i declare to can you just read us the beginning part so folks have a better idea of what you're talking about and then what sure. kind of response you got and what yeah, you want to sure. do with that schedule? Well, um, and so actually we took it over there because what you want to do is you just want, it's kind of like serves as your passport in life because because what you do is wherever you live, you would just go to your local county uh, city recorder 
and and you would you would hand it to them. It costs you a little bit of money, fifteen bucks or whatever. And they are the recorder. They record stuff. That's what they do. So you put it on file, okay? And what it says is, uh, let it be clear that a people is not a person. A person is not a people. True sovereignty in America and within all free nations on earth lies with the living and breathing people who have all rights endowed by our Creator. And then on the back, for example, you know, and it kind of goes on, it cites a few, um, uh, you know, like case law, you know, that sort of thing. It says, um, let it be clear that, uh, that I am not a citizen of the United States, and I do not consent to this form of de facto corporate government, and that I am not submitting myself voluntarily to it. On the contrary, I am a people as recognized in America's founding documents, including the Magna Carta, the Articles of Confederation, the Declaration of Independence, and the original Constitution for the United States of America. Um, it says, the information in this fee schedule and notice is the truth and the whole truth, and I stand by it unless proven otherwise by sworn affidavit and evidence, so help me God. And so what you do is you have it notarized, you sign it, and you just file it in your local community with the court. And now you have basically made a statement that you're not submitting to their jurisdiction of the United States Corporation that's franchised into all the counties and cities. And they give you now, a sticker on it. You have somebody yeah. actually there who reads it with a straight yeah. face. They don't give you any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun, you know, and we make videos about doing this stuff, you know. And you just, yeah, you go in there and the little lady with the glasses, you know, they're real sweet. And you hand them your Federal Reserve notes, you know. And then and then they go ahead and they, they, they record it. And then they put like a sticker on it, okay, that's got like a barcode sticker. And then they just mailed it back to me. So now I have it, you know, and I can, I can, wherever I go. So like when I go to Nashville, I'll go ahead and I'll go to that local community and I'll, I'll file the same thing. I'll make a photocopy of this and I'll file it with that local community. And then this is how you start a conversation with your local, uh, you know, people, the, the, the people that work for the government and the police. Hmm. Well, that's interesting, and we'll have to keep, uh, you'll have to keep us abreast of that, because your ultimate goal with having it is to just make sure that whatever location you're in, you've notified the authorities within that particular location that you're free. Exactly, and that's what, what everybody puts everybody on notice. I mean, that's kind of how it works in the lawful world is, is they put us on notice, you know, and so we have just turned the tables and now we're putting them on notice. It's kind of like you want to be the boss, Karen, and I'm the employee. And then I go, well, you know what? No, I think I'm going to be the boss and you're the employee. So, I mean, if you don't <laughs> tell them that you're the boss, then how do they know? And they treat you like a slave on the plantation. We don't need no stinking bosses. <laughs> you got that, right? Charlene, Charlene, yeah. you you were talking about a federal note or bill, um, and uh, a song came to my mind. Uh, would you mind if we uh, have uh, Neil Fox uh, a word on that one? Uh, Absolutely. Just as a quickie, a quickie in between. You know, we need uh, some relief. You know, from this ah, terrible stuff. So. Uh, We'll be back in a short time. Stay tuned. It's going to be very interesting. This is Musicians for Freedom on UWS Community Radio and the International Community Radio Network. Bankers we obey And they don't answer to the people Cause 
because they pull the strings, and that's precisely why we have to say. sentiments exactly well put by neil fox who's one of our favorite artists he's also been a guest here on uh, united we strike radio during the musicians for freedom portion and now we are joined by jd nero um jd welcome to the program hi from smoky (laughs) hi smoky he's back he found the mute button (laughs) okay too many moving parts J.D., welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. All right. We know that you are going to be working with Zach. And so, Zach, I'm going to turn it over to you right now to interview uh, J.D. a little bit and get some music from it. I get to interview J.D. That's, <laughs> 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 That's a different one for me. I've never been an interviewer. But, um, yeah, so I... Uh, I, I think it was you, J.D., that uh, found me first. And uh, I'd been posting on, on Facebook and, and uh, sending a message out there about the concert tour I'm having. And, and uh, Is that how, how we connected, J.D., was through Facebook? I, I uh, no, we met through, we met through email, um, the uh, yeah, that's, that's, John Cole movement um, yeah. sent out an email blast saying that they were looking for local artists to be a part of this uh, movement. And I uh, quickly jumped on the opportunity and got in contact with Zach. And then uh, we, we began to speak through there. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I'm also the marketing director for RP2012.org. So, you know, it's a Ron Paul grassroots uh, project that's um, doing great work. Uh, but So I have, uh, you know, a pretty massive, uh, you know, network of meetup groups that I belong to all across the country for those efforts. And so, you know, I'm able to get the message out there to the whole country uh, that way. And, uh, yeah, thank, thanks for, for 
being excited about it, JD, and and uh, that it's uh, you know not less than a week till our kickoff, and I wish you could uh, you know do the whole thing, um, but uh, you know our, our budget is uh, pretty uh, restrained right now, you know, and, and we're having to you know spend the, that money we do have on some venues and uh, you know getting from venue to venue with uh, the the small core of the uh, acts that uh, are doing the whole country. Uh, and uh, from out that are coming from Seattle, and uh, and I, I can't wait till uh, till we we get you up on stage and part of this, and uh, you know, hope, hopefully that that's sooner than uh, you know than when we get out to New England. Yeah, no problem. I mean, I'm just happy to be a part of it. You know, I I feel like uh, I definitely have something to bring to the table as far as you know the TSA Blues record. I feel like that's definitely something that uh. The people need to hear, you know, it, it mentions Ron Paul and what he's trying to do. So, you know, I, I definitely just, I'm just glad to be a part of the tour. Yeah. Now, when you made that song, do you have a personal experience with the TSA that uh, um, was the genesis of that song? Or? No, I, I just, I try to stay current with what's going on. I try to stay as aware as possible. And um, when I made that song, um, there was a lot of stuff going on in the TSA situation. And, um, you know, Alex Jones had been posting a lot of information on his sites and airing information on his radio shows. So I, I, you know, I listened from my iPhone app and I try to go to, you know, InfoWars at least once a week and stay current. And when I heard everything that was happening with the TSA, I was like, wow, this is, this is crazy that, you know, American citizens have to go through this on an everyday basis. And like one day I, w- I tuned in and I heard, uh, Jesse Ventura is saying how, you know, he was harassed with the TSA situation. And yeah. I was like, wow, so even even the governor isn't safe. Like, it doesn't matter who it is. Like, there, anyone can fall victim to the to the harassment. And, you know, I just decided to be vocal about it. Uh, yeah, it was, it was the first step in my waking up. It, it was a three-step process for me to, you know, to go from being, uh, you know, in, in the military to being in a wake uh, you know, individual uh, you know, part of the liberty movement, and and um, when I came home from uh, Iraq, I, I flew to see my family. I, I was stationed in, in uh, Georgia, and so flying out to see my family in Seattle in my class A dress uniform because I wanted to look all sharp and and uh, you know looking good for the family. And um, I, I was treated like a criminal, um, you know, at, at the airport by the TSA. And so you know that that song really you know hits home for me. And um, yeah, thank you, JD. For, yeah, uh, no problem. I mean, I I was just like in shock that this was happening. Like even on YouTube, I know um, uh, Alex Jones mentioned it, but I found the tape on the you know the the visual of this lady from Ohio who was like just devastated about what the TSA did to her. And you know she went to the local authorities like you know what can we do about this? And they was pretty much like, well, you can't really do nothing. And I was like, wow, like this is this is crazy that we've gotten to this point so quickly. And I you know I, I had to see what I could do as an artist, you know what I mean? I, I feel like if the people, if more people are aware, you know, maybe we can, we can do something about it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, so how, how did you come to the Liberty Movement and uh, uh, Ron Paul and, and uh, listening to Alex Jones? Uh, I, have a, I have a friend who, uh, I, have, I have two close friends of mine, and um, they, they, uh, they're very into a lot of the topics that Alex Jones and, uh, even Jordan Maxwell touch on. So, uh, I, you know, I, we, we, we tune into the show. I listen, uh, on my daily commute sometimes. I'll listen to the Alex Jones radio show on my, on my iPhone app. And, um, I, I try to catch some of Jesse Ventura's show. Um, but, you know, I, I, that's how I found out about Alex Jones. Um, I say it in a song I have called American Way. I say, Justice showed me Alex Jones. Now rebellion's in my bones. And, uh, you know, ever, ever since he showed me Alex Jones, and I, I like to do, you know, I like to see if things are true. And what I like about Alex Jones is he, he puts it out there. Like, he's like, all right, well, this is the information we got today about a tree, for example. And then he'll tell you, like, and if you don't believe me, you can go to these three websites and check it out. And I, I think that's amazing. So, you know, I, it's not just hearsay or, or, you know, conspiracy theory, as they say. If, if there's other sites backing this, if there's other information out there, and he's constantly supporting what he does with, with other links and, and, you know, books and documents. So I was very drawn to that because a lot of times people are like, you know, whatever, it's, this is what's going on, but this is just, you know, it's just what I think. I have no, no real proof, no real, you know, there's no other website talking about it. So, you know, 
it's easy to ignore stuff like that. But when you've got a man saying, you know, if you don't believe me, go to this website or Google this or Google that, and it pops and up, it and it's up. like it, it definitely checks out. Like, yeah, yeah. Zach, Zach uh, uh, and uh, JD, why don't we then uh, listen to your song? Because I think the audience is now really hot. So yeah, we're ready. Yeah, it. I yeah, hear, I mean, yeah. Well, uh, you know, uh, so why don't we do it and uh, go for it? Uh, so this, uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back. This is Musicians for Freedom on UWS Community Radio and the International Community Radio Network. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. See, it started with them scanners, full body is called. First time people seen them, they were so appalled. Except, this is life, not a Kanye song. See, they figured that the feds couldn't do no wrong. Cause they told us that it wasn't taking pics of flesh. We was like, okay, so we got no stress. Now her breast is in the database and so is yours. So you got a full spread, but it ain't in stores. Refuse and they pat you, touch and harass you. Whole lot of stress just for you to pass through. Ain't nobody safe, not me nor you and Governor Ventura's getting patted down too who wants to be harassed just to get on the plane had to put his foot down cause it's getting insane can't blame the ex-politician Vietnam vet cause anyone with a brain should be upset Get on the news just to tell the whole world about the TSA blues. See, the guards was patting. Then she put her hands in side of her drawers and her cheeks she was grabbing. Then one at a time, both cheeks got squeezed. Feeling violated, Miss Ohio wasn't pleased. Other workers watching, but she still never free. Situation got worse as the TSA squeezed. She touched the twin baggies, even the vaggie. Why would she think she would walk away gladly? Now Miss Ohio wanna sue and make them pay, but they say. And that the law is below the TSA Well, I shouldn't have been I gotta blame you Chief of Homeland Security They trusted you But you left and became CEO of the scanners You live off America Where are your manners? She then proceeded to touch my buttocks um, Both sides with the palm of her hand She then moved around to the front Touched the tops of my breasts And underneath of my breasts Again, she gave me no instruction That she was gonna do that Then she moved to the bottom of my legs Moved all the way up my inner thighs Touching my private areas Amendment number four gets shredded every day But my man Ron Paul says there is another way May Congress drop jaws I really must applaud Cause he said the TSA needs to be outlawed He don't got the blues But the story's lit a fuse TSA got the power And they really just abuse The people of America who's trying to fly And the people aren't rallying or asking why Ron Paul got a law that we all gotta push Everybody wake up and get off your tush Cause them scanners taking pics of you and your kids and they saying that they trying to give fines and bids to the people who refuse or get scanned to fly yo we gotta work together make the tsa fry don't let them dictate our don't sand dues no more tsa blues no more tsa blues and then on top of it governor what do you think of chernoff uh, ordering the first scanners as homeland security head and then becoming the head of the company making millions of dollars himself off this Life. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome to United We Strike Radio and the Musicians for Freedom program. My name is Charlene, and uh, I'm joined today on the program by Zach Carter. And Zach Carter is heading up the Rock the Revolution tour. How's it going, Zach? Oh, life is amazing. Ever since <laughs> I first, um, you know, had 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 the you know, the idea to turn this idea into reality. It, every day has been something new presented to me to, you know, help move the tour forward in, in all kinds of amazing ways. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a pretty emotional guy. I, I, I've cried, uh, more over this past month than, uh, you know, than I have in years. And, uh, it, it's, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm feeling blessed and, uh, this tour is, is going to be amazing. 
Um, we're getting help from so many people all across the country. Got an amazing team of regional coordinators, uh, amazing artists on the on the on the tour, and um, we're, I think we're going to shock the world. Uh, <laughs> we're going to rock the world, that's for sure. And you know, you've got a couple of your musicians that are on tour. <laughs> Uh, you've got Billy Blaze and J.D. Nero with us today on the show. Yeah, Billy and, and J.D. are, you know... Well, don't, don't worry, this is... Uh, I'm just calling in uh, Billy because we lost him. Okay. Yeah, good deal. That definitely two, uh, you know, amazing Liberty artists that, uh, you know, I hope to, I hope to uh, you know, help uh, you know, get their name out there more and, and get them heard by... by wider and larger audiences than they have. Um, you know, the country needs to hear more Liberty music on the on the radio and, and see it on TV. And uh, Yeah, you know, one of the things I'd like to see, I'd like to have iTunes have a category called freedom, a genre. Yeah, that would be great. You know, because there isn't any. There's a talk radio. You know, but... We have a yeah, certain yeah. genre, you know. We need a, yeah, a genre. Yeah. So you guys get out there and pressure iTunes. And I, the I other. have, to have a, a certain friend that I, I think uh, I can talk to to make that happen. Uh, yeah, so, KRS One, yeah. man, wouldn't that be awesome? That guy could certainly, and Professor Griff, and all of those, you know, guys that get a lot of play, they could get yeah, a genre yeah. called Freedom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and make um, sure that you make a rockumentary as you're going. Yeah, and and uh, yeah, definitely. We've got um, a podcast that's going to be following us, and uh, we are talking to to a, a film crew um, about uh, about following us. You know, what I did back in the in the '90s. Um, you know, I, the attention I got with that. You know, th- this is so much more important. And if I could get uh, you know media coverage for, for just uh, you know what I did back then, I I, I ran across America, and um, you know, if I if I can get the coverage that I got for that, you know, th- this is so much. Th- this is actually worthy of news attention, um, whereas that was just silly. <laughs> but, <that's, laughs> you ran across America like Forrest Gump. Well, I didn't turn around and do it again, and um, <laughs> I, I, I did. Uh, you know, he didn't look like he bathed much in that movie when he was doing the running scenes, and I did bathe. Uh, uh, pretty regularly, and, and people brought me into their homes uh, because you know they'd see me, you know, on their on their commute to work, you know, out in the middle of the country. There, there's not a lot going on, and so you know, seeing the same people, you know, day after day, and they're like, wow. <laughs> but um, and then they'd keep me up late um, at home, uh, me telling them their story. But you know, if I can get coverage for that, um, you know, we're we're going to get amazing coverage for this it's already starting. Um, you know, now I've you know we're a week from. From the kickoff, and I'm already getting reporters calling me now, um, not the other way around. And so, yeah, amazed the possibility. And yeah, I'll definitely you know talk to uh, some people about the the freedom uh, the freedom genre at iTunes. And uh, you know, Avery Sharp is somebody I can probably talk to about uh, making that happen too. He just uh, sent me a message that he wants to be a part of the tour. He's a you know a famous uh, jazz musician. And uh, oh. That sounds, awesome. that sounds like a rebel to, to me. So why don't we listen to uh, the next song of uh, JD, uh, which is R- Rebel? Would that be fine with you? Sure. Yeah, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Join Musicians for Freedom on icradionetwork.com every Sunday at 3 p.m. MDT and 10 p.m. UK time for guests and political music live from the Colorado studio. That would nigga got flow I play on all Madden And they play it on pro I look up in the mirror And I see 
see my favorite show Before you ask why, let me break it down, yo Knowledge of a scholar, though I only got a GD Gotta dumb it down, cause they busy watching BET I do it easily and fill up every book I'm the shit like a fly-ass broad that can cook So far gone that I'm deep space nine See, I'm on my grind, so I'm mashing every line Play the hand I'm giving, real niggas don't trade Facing all my fears, so I'm far from afraid So if you got threats, then for you I got laughter Niggas once said, chill, J, he'll clap ya No bullet hole Yo, your boy's doing well Middle finger to my enemies I'm about to raise hell I'm a rebel I'm a rebel 85% of the world ain't on my level Involved into a rebel Cause they said I'm bound to drown I'm a bomb about to blow When the time's ticking down uh, I'm a rebel I'm a rebel 85% of the world ain't on my level Involved into a rebel Cause they said I'm bound to drown I'm a bomb about to blow When the time's ticking down Listen up, it's JD And I ain't talking to Maine. It's that NY rebel that be riding the train Left a mark on your brain when I came in the game And now they say this little nigga's going insane What I've seen and I've done since this rap thing begun Will drive you so crazy that the way you wanna run My feet is on the ground and my eyes on the prize Word, you can see the hunger in his eyes Till I reach my demise, I ain't never gonna stop That means I'm a rebel till my casket drop I'm building up an army, my mentality is militant So piss the fuck off if your ass ain't feeling it Never been a runner or a runner, I'm a real man Back against the wall with my enemies, I still stand Scrapping every second that my life has breath Got my troops on the left that'll fight to the death I'm a rebel I'm a rebel, 85% of the world ain't on my level Involved into a rebel, cause they said I'm bound to drown I'm a bomb about to blow when the time's ticking down uh, I'm a rebel, I'm a rebel, 85% of the world ain't on my level Involved into a rebel, cause they said I'm bound to drown I'm a bomb about to blow when the time's ticking down a couple people don't need a reason to beat them up Either you book it like you were reading for Pizza Hut Or put your heater up quicker than Le Mans Autobahn or you leaving running breathing like Le Mans Feeding off the beat of the bars That's all I got left Stressed like I'm cooking up crack The rap top chef Mega death hang with the squad Get a rep if your gang wants to be a star Just to get a rep Blessed till I'm dead and I rest Two birds in the hand Is equivalent to one in the chest Cats better come again Fest like Benedict Dick Say a hundred of fathers cause son is a mess right. Don't attest like a cat skin Rap or a pack grams Anybody ghost gets attacked like a Pac-Man A team with a gap in a black van Red man mentality time for some action I'm a rebel I'm a rebel 85% of the world ain't on my level Involved into a rebel cause they said I'm bound to drown I'm a bomb about to blow when the time's ticking down uh, I'm a rebel I'm a rebel, 85% of the world ain't on my level Involved into a rebel cause they said I'm bound to drown I'm a bomb about to blow when the time's ticking down Live Hi, welcome back. We're on United We Strike Radio today, and it's uh, the Sunday show with Musicians for Freedom. And my name is Charlene, and uh, we've got some of uh, Zach Carter uh, and his musicians with us today, and he's uh, heading up and organizing the Rock the Revolution tour. So um, we're going to say goodbye now to Billy Blaze. We've heard a few of your songs. Billy, what's your website? All right, uh, I've got a YouTube ch- uh, YouTube channel. It's Billy Blaze Seven. That's Billy Blaze and the number seven, uh, where I have uh, some of the videos to the songs on my first CD and uh, some live performances. And my main website, which is doing a relaunch today, it's a new and improved site. It's BillyBlaze.net. And uh, I want to thank uh, you guys at United We Strike for having me on today. And I, I really want to thank. Um, Zach as well for, uh, first of all, for the video that you made, uh, it was very inspiring and, uh, in my eyes, you're a hero to me for that alone. And, uh, I'm looking forward to going on the Rock the Revolution tour and, uh, I hope everybody has a great day and thank you so much for having me on. Thanks a thank lot, you, Billy. Thank Billy. you so much. And we'll be seeing you on tour, we hope, very soon. Bye. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank Bye, you, Billy. Billy. 
Okay, great. Well, thanks a lot, folks, for hanging in here today on the show. We've had uh, quite a few folks uh, check in with us today. We heard from Bert, and uh, Bert's in Colorado. You can reach him at do not consent 83 at yahoo.com for more about, uh, you know, the sovereignty, fee schedules, that sort of thing. Uh, still on the line with us, of course, is Zach Carter, and we've got uh, J.D. Nero, who's a musician, and he's online with us, and also Smokey out in Nashville. But right now we want to hear from Chris Farnworth, who's here with me in Colorado. And Chris is from uh, We Are Change Colorado, and he was at the Occupy Denver event yesterday. How did that go, Chris? Well, we occupied right by the Capitol. We had about 300 people out there. How? And it was yeah. raining. And it was freezing rain. Oh, wow. It wasn't just rain, it was cold. And, um, but, you know, I showed up and, and there they were, the mob, and they were screaming about the Fed. And they had a lot of signs, and there's a lot of people there that I've never seen before. Usually it's just us, we are change people out there. But there was a mob of people screaming, we are the 99%. Yay. Oh, good deal. Yeah. Wow, so you were getting along with the, uh, what, the Zeitgeisters and everybody? I, mean, I didn't meet any Zeitgeisters, but there was, I didn't really talk to people. There was some ACLU people out there. ACLU, which, okay. Which was interesting. Uh-huh. And, um, you know, at this point, I think we all agree that what we need is warm bodies against the Fed. So uh, I wasn't really all that curious as to who was out there. I just screamed along with them. Yeah, well, we are growing. Up. We are growing. The unity is just wonderful. This finally is that hundredth monkey that we've been waiting so long for. And yeah. Alex Jones now is joining with uh, Occupying the Fed, and he also on his channel, it says now there are over a thousand cities here in the United States where American apathy no longer resides, and that is wonderful. And, and you know, they're camping at the Capitol in Denver. Oh, they're camping still? Oh, yeah. There's probably, I'm going to guess, about 10 tents out there, and there's all kinds of donated food. There's like a food bar there that's overflowing with food that people are just dropping by and leaving just all kinds of stuff. When I was standing there, a pizza truck arrived with like four pizza with a lady going, hey, somebody ordered these pizzas for you, and who wants them? <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's so, so great. That's so yeah. great. It's cool. After all these years of, of apathy, after all these generations of being lied to and manipulated, finally, here in America, the spirit is rising, the people are rising, and in order to make it real, they're going to the Federal Reserves and local. That's the thing, folks. If you want to join this, keep it real, keep it local. Yeah, definitely. And um, I- I'm excited about uh, going to as many of these events as as can uh, along the path of the tour and um, you know, bring bring a little bit of music for them for the day and uh, giving them a good uh, you know so some good education on uh, things that are important to us uh, that uh, they might not know about and uh, I, I think it's uh, just amazing what's going on in the country right now, right now. It's, it's inspiring very inspiring I'm also quite impressed by the slogan uh, which is uh, legalized freedom <laughs> 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 Legalized you know, freedom. That yeah, really is. That's something amazing. we should all be uh, using that slogan. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's That's very good. Good. <laughs> JD, thank you for joining us today as well. We are honored no to have problem. you and music. Where can we well, find your music, uh, JD? Um, I'm on iTunes. If you guys uh, just search J.D. space N-E-R-O. Um, I also have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash J-D-N-E-R-0. And um, I'm also on Twitter and Facebook. If you uh, just look up the same name and uh, be able to get in contact with me, I try to respond to every email I can. And um, I'm, just, I'm just grateful for the opportunity with uh, the radio and, and Zach. And, uh, you know, I just hope that we can really band together and do what we are all need done. That's why we're here at United We Strike. That's it. Peaceful unity, non-compliance, massive numbers, taking our world back. Yes. Hey, um, I noticed, Zach, when are we going to have a Denver tour? When are you coming to Denver? Yeah, the, the tour is staying on the road as long as on call is great. And 
possibly, you know, worst case scenario, he's not in the race anymore. Um, what we're planning on keeping the tour going until next November. And so, you know, after our uh, first uh, leg of the tour, which is from um, Seattle, Washington, well, Spanaway, Spanaway uh, address, um, and then we head to Boston on the first leg. Um, we're going to be coming back after the Christmas uh, break, and we'll have a kickoff there in uh, somewhere in New England. It hasn't been nailed down exactly yet. Uh, the, the, the kickoff, where the kickoff's going to be, and uh, and then pretty much you know heading to you know um, the south, and uh, and then um, down to Miami, and uh, and then continuing the tour back across the country, and definitely coming to uh, the South Colorado on that one. We've got some great venues already that have been presented to us um, in Colorado. And, uh, yeah, excited about going there. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to take this thing to hopefully every of the 48 states. We've got a year. So. Did you get an RV? I know you were looking for an RV or something to tour with. Yeah, I think, um, well, right now we, we don't. Um, we're, we're still putting word out there that we're, we're looking to, to borrow one. Um, we're also raising funds because uh, we, might, we might rent one. And... Uh, People can help by going to rocktherevolutionsewer.com and and uh, the donate tab there um, with that that effort and uh, that would be super appreciated. But um, we're also uh, you know, talking to people who uh, you know might have a, a tour bus for us and we can uh, you know do up right with uh, some you know rock the revolution tour graphics and uh, and some Ron Paul there as well and uh, yeah to be exciting and ju- just having a billboard like that rolling down the down the freeway is going to get attention and uh, help, help build the excitement absolutely hey do you uh, want to give out a, a phone number or an email for folks uh, musicians and folks that want to donate yeah definitely well at rocktherevolutiontour.com there's a donate tab right there and my friend John Dennis from Freedom and Prosperity Pack um, has set up a separate account, um, so money that goes, uh, you know, is donated there through his pack, uh, goes right to the tour, and uh, without the chip-in fees, his chip-in charges, uh, I was told, somewhere up to like 30%, so that was very nice to him to do that, and uh, and I can be reached um, when I have my phone back, <laughs> um, it got wet last night, um, My I can be reached at 206. Five zero one ninety two twenty one, and uh, I had to set up another email because the other one I have was I, I've got a lot of them, but uh, I can be emailed at Zach Revolution. It's Z A K Revolution, so the normal way at Yahoo dot com. And uh, yeah, I'm still looking for more uh, more great freedom artists to come forward and be a part of the tour. Um, it's uh, it's just a uh, from every genre, so please, if, if you're listening and you love liberty and you're into the Ron Paul message, uh, get a hold of me. I'd love to have you. Well, great. And, well, Zach, aren't you a musician yourself, aren't you? You do a, you play some guitar, don't you? I play really horrible drums and um, and a pretty bad trombone that nobody wants to listen to. <laughs> but, but, uh, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a definite, uh, you know. I, I love horns. I love uh, playing the trombone, but no, I don't. I don't play professionally. Um, and uh, but but I'm, you know, I'm definitely a, a music lover. I've always, uh, you know, had close friends who've uh, you know been in bands, and, and uh, so always been a you know a music groupie. <laughs> Yeah, but Zach, uh, my opinion is that you are actually hitting the drum of revolution, of peaceful revolution. Yeah. <laughs> that is very important. And, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. we are, we're heading towards the end of our show and, uh, I just wanted to mention that we will rebroadcast uh, the whole show. So you're, w- you're welcome to listen to uh, the whole show afterwards. We'll have some music in between and, uh, just take the opportunity and shout out your websites, all of your, uh, you know, who's participating. So who's yeah. starting? Yeah, something also that I would add is that nobody's making any money on this. I've, I've been working for free. Um, the artists are donating their time to be on the tour. And um, you know, it's free music for freedom. 
And uh, thank you for having me on here with the Musicians for Freedom program and United We Strike Radio and Wake News. And uh, I can uh, learn more about the Rock the Revolution Tour at rocktherevolutiontour.com. And uh, we're we're uh, we're out to uh, out to bring bring peace uh, uh, through music uh, to America again. Good. So, uh, Charlene and uh, Karen. Quickly say your websites, and then we have to go into the break. Well, my name is Charlene, and I'm at musiciansforfreedom.com. I also have a donate button, so if you're feeling generous, uh, don't hesitate to send me uh, a buck or two. And Karen? Thank you, everybody, for listening. And uh, the money can help Charlene as she makes her way to Nashville. None of us get paid here, Zach. This is all just a labor of love. Thank you, J.D. Nero. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, Charlene. Thank you, Detlef. And uh, I'll be joining Hal Anthony on Behind the Woodshed at oraclebroadcasting.com for the next hour. Stay tuned here. You can listen to United We Strike again. And thanks to Detlef for producing from Switzerland. Thanks, Thanks, Detlef. Detlef. Yeah, it's voodoostingray.com as well and wakenews.net and we will be uh, rebroadcasting right now. See you. Join Bye. Musicians Thanks. for Freedom on icradionetwork.com every Sunday at 3 p.m. MDT and 10 p.m. UK time for guests and political music live from the Colorado studio. A lot of things that are bad for my health Like breaking nights or right or rhyme Hey, I'm aiming for wealth So when it's time to shine My glow's gonna be hella People will wait to see me Like the tree at Rockefeller I'm MC squared Cause I'm too much for them So if you're discussing me Make sure it's an open forum Man, it's on the mic Get hype when I recite Shit, you should see me when I write It's like a frenzy like a man Attacking his worst enemy Cause first I hit it Then something just gets into me JP I come second to none I bring heat to a cypher Like I'm toting a gun Old school, new school Everybody loving me Crazy MC Yeah, this shit is just fun to me No, you don't want it So you better call the truth I came to kill the game And it's hanging from a noose I'm so out of my mind With my old school flow And wild lyrics combined Too creative, too crazy I'm a diamond in the rough And I dare any rapper To try to call my bluff Cause I'm so out of my mind Mind, yeah, I'm so out of my mind You can turn out all the lights and I'm still going to glow Shine, I'm on my grind, man, you already know You can hear the God in him every time he get it in It's almost like he's a distant relative of Rakim I see some wag rappers and I hear they going black People don't pay attention, yo, I've been peeped at I keep it five times 20, when? 24-7 If I make you listen, every word is a weapon Never looking back, I move forward at top speed If you want that fire, then I'll feed your need A beast from the future, so my boys call me Chewy It's practically a sin every time I walk into it Larger than life, yeah, I'm skyscraper Ducktail dreams, where I'm swimming in my paper Food for thought, I'm one hell of a cook Came and stole the game, I'm one hell of a crook And if you ain't know, this is all for you Look how I got them running like my flow is my I'm so out of my mind With my old school flow and wild lyrics combined Too creative, too crazy, I'm a diamond in the rough And I dare any rapper to try to call my bluff Cause I'm so out of my mind, yeah I'm so out of my mind You can turn out all the lights and I'm still gonna glow Shine, I'm on my grind, man, you already know This is Musicians for Freedom on UWS Community Radio and the International Community Radio Network.
is Musicians for Freedom on UWS Community Radio and the International Community Radio Network. Occupy Wellington, that's the capital city. Occupy Otago, that's one of our southern cities. Occupy Christchurch, um, obviously where the quake hit. And uh, Occupy Auckland, which has about... This is Musicians for Freedom on UWS Community Radio and the International Community Radio Network. <laughs> Sunday at 3 p.m. MDT and 10 p.m. UK time for guests and political music live from the Colorado studio. Guys with you and 
wanna know what you're ready for. We used to play the creek by the school, way back in the woods where the air was moist and cool. The sky was blue patches, a canopy of green, the hottest summer days I'll ever seen, just like a dream. I never had no need to understand Just wandering through those days as friends And coming home with sneakers full of sand Yeah, he said I know what you're headed for Growing closer Going far away It seems like nothing's free no more And nothing seems to stay Well I had a lover Just the other day when I found a phone number on his table I said to him, I don't know what I will do when you're not mine anymore Because I've seen other girls with you and I know what you're headed for And I said to him, I said When you're not mine anymore Because I've seen other girls with you And I know what you're headed for I know, no, no What you're headed Everybody and welcome. Today is Sunday, October 9th, 2011, and we are here with Musicians for Freedom. This is our segment weekly where we add music to the list of 